Yo, what's happening? It's the real Afro man, and today we're gonna be killing us some noble beasts. How many? We're gonna kill 12 of them all together in about 30 minutes. So let's get to it. Alright, so here we see we have no noble beast souls in my inventory. First one dropping. Here we go. Hot and heavy. Taking it down. It's that 3,000 year old noble frost. Jadir. Now these are all royal charms, of course. Because I ain't about to go out here and unlock all these noble beasts one time. That'd be crazy. Oh, that'd be all kinds of time. This video would be insanely long. It would have to be a trilogy in order to get all that captured in one go. I'm not about to do that. I'm just going to show you guys here how to kill 12 noble beasts in 30 minutes. This video was sped up because I wasn't about to upload a 45 minute video of me killing all of these beasts. So the first one down, that was a 3,000 year old noble Frost Jadir. Let's go ahead and get on to the next one. It's that 3,000 year old noble Flame Gator. Now that Frost Jadir and this noble Flame Gator, both of these are easy to take down. There ain't nothing special about them. You know, just hit them in the, in the uh, limbs and knock them down. They're pretty easy. Pretty easy to melt down. Don't take that long. But later, later ones will be just a little bit more difficult. And usually the ones that are like the turtle, I mean, they have shells on them and it takes forever to get them down. But if you just shoot for the limbs, it ain't no problem. But uh, all these noble beasts are easily, easily, easily soluble. So you ain't gotta have a group to kill them. As you can see here, I'm just doing all this right here by myself. All this right here, all this recording, hauling these beasts in, took 30 minutes. And then I just reduced the video down to where it'd be just manageable to record and upload. Moving on to a 3,000 year old noble fire lob cray. Now, the secret to killing these lob crays is you gotta shoot them right in the face. They have pinchers there. You aim for those. That way you can knock them, flip them over, and then go in for the kill shot. These right here are easily, easily killable. Uh, just stay in front of them. That way you can see the face. And uh, just melt them down. I fight two of these, I think, back to back right here. So, really, just stay in front of them, shoot them in the face, right there in the pinchers and uh that there will knock them over knock their shield off and you'll be able to melt them down pretty quick i use a bow you can use whatever weapon you want i i usually just try to keep my distance that way i don't get smacked real hard and get killed because you know that's easy, easily doable especially when you ain't watching your health so right there we got one down moving on to the next one i'm pretty sure it was a noble uh, fire off ground this next one as well So it's just you know, it's just rinse and repeat same thing back to back If you have much of these uh, royal Beast charms here. I, I recommend highly doing them because That's just saving you all kinds of time and effort going out here and trying to find a noble beast and then taking all of his uh, Keys off of it. It's just easier to do it this way right here You get these from the uh, The battle pass by leveling up, you get them unlocked, and they'll give them to you. I think, I think I have like actually two seasons. <laughs> I haven't used these, so uh, I had a bunch saved up. Actually, I, I killed a bunch more before I even started making this video. I think I killed about eight of them. So I got a lot of noble beasts so those saved up already. Used for crafting weapons and armor, stuff like that. So you know, you see here, I'm just shooting them right in the face, melting them down pretty quick. My attendant, my pets helping out a lot, tremendously. If you ain't got your pet and attendant leveled up, I highly recommend doing that out there before you go do this, because that's mostly, that's like probably, I'm gonna say 80 to 70% of your damage is coming from your pets and your attendant. The better they are, the harder they hit, of course. Uh, Look at your attendant maxed out his armor and his weapon. I highly recommend doing that. Just making sure they get them levels in, keep your beast or keep your uh, pet and your attendant fed. That way they're getting experience. Um, as long as they, as long as they stay full, they're getting experience. So we're already on this noble frost bear. Ain't nothing to him either. He's just, just like the uh, Gradir 
and the uh, flame gator. You just gotta shoot him in the limbs, knock him down. He's pretty easy. He ain't nothing, nothing crazy about this guy. It don't take that long to get him down. It takes, I think, about either we're between two to three minutes per one, depending on depending on how armored they are. As long as you get past that armor and find them weak spots, that's all it's all about. This next one's a five thousand year old flame horn rhino. It's a mouthful. And this guy it was a little annoying because apparently his hitbox is like in the center of him. And my pet and attendant did not want to lock on. I mean he was easily killable, no doubt, but yet you had to be basically inside of him in order for them to target him. That was that was pretty annoying just trying to stay in between them. But like I said, there ain't nothing to this guy right here. He's easily easily sellable. Easily killable. Just get him knocked down and keep hammering him with all your all your abilities. This is of course the easiest way to get the uh, noble beast souls without having to go out and hunt for them. And more than likely you may not have none of these. I think you might get one when you first start the game later on. I'm not for sure, but this is by far the easiest way to get them. Got him down. Moving on to the next guy. And I'm pretty sure you guys remember this next one. It's another 3,000 year old noble flame gator. Just like the last one, it's easily killable. Just shoot for the arms, the limbs, I mean. And uh, you'll have not no time. I mean, just bring down Hellfire on top of this guy. That's all it really takes. Poles taking him down pretty quick. I think he's hit about either between 12 to 1400 crits on him. At non stop, he's got the ammo clips like 40 in there. So that melts him down pretty quick. And the Serpent, of course, is doing that huge damage ability hits for anywhere between I think 50 to 80,000 took him down real quick then we move on to this 3,000 year old noble fire litiger this guy out here just like that flame gator is just a big baby you just shoot him in the limbs and this guy's gonna get knocked my dang bow broke so I had to fix it then I ran out of ammo earlier and then I had to go get some ammo so make sure before you do this you're well prepared don't want to get out here and Especially away from your house, because they said it suggests you, you're in a flat area. You don't want to be out here just, you know, in the middle of nowhere. They have to run back and forth. Bring your war banner if you got one planet. That way you can easily teleport back to wherever you're fighting at. But this litigator was no problem. I got him down in no time. Moved on to the next one. I think the actual litigator and the flame getter, you can probably kill them in like a minute and 30 seconds. It don't even take that long to kill these guys. Now, this next guy, he had a shield. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a big turtle. And he's got six limbs. As long as you shoot him in them limbs, you'll be doing all kinds of damage and you'll be knocking him over in a matter of seconds. He takes massive amounts of damage in his limbs. So just be sure to target those and just keep on hammering those until he gets knocked. And uh, that's the easiest way to kill this guy right here. It ain't nothing difficult about him. He does uh, tail whip, which does a decent amount of damage to you, but as long as you watch out for it, um, he'll be fine. It's easily avoidable. avoidable. He don't do that much damage to me, so I just... Most of these guys I'm fighting here, they don't do hardly no damage, so I just stand there and take the damage. No big deal. Don't get knocked. And then the next guy. The final one. My most hated enemy there is in the whole game. The 5,000 year old Noble Horn. Ding Long. This guy takes hardly no damage from me at all. From my pets, it takes forever to kill this guy weak spots you know I don't even think he has a weak spot this guy's is all tank he don't even care about kicking damage he's all about the doing the damage and he'll take you down really quick with the AOE he does so keep your distance and keep your eyes on your health bar and your pet's health bar because he'll kill him almost instantly and uh, it takes forever to kill this guy right here solo but as long as you keep strafing and watching those uh, AOE damages he does, you'll be fine and dandy. Ain't got nothing to worry about. Just keep moving. Keep your eye on your health bar. Keep your eye on those areas of effect. And you'll outlive this guy. No problem. But just be ready for a fight because it takes literally forever. I think it actually took me eight minutes to kill this guy. It was it's dumb. He has massive amounts of health. His armor is huge. 
only thing he has armor penetration is just, just layered with armor. Crazy. My hopes and dreams of killing this guy any faster couldn't come sooner. I mean, seriously, I thought my weapon was going to break. I was getting actually bored. It takes forever to kill this guy. It's just... I don't understand why he has so much health. More than the other guys. It's just crazy, I guess. We gotta have a boss fight at some point. But here we are. We're done. Kill it all 12. And we're back home. As you see here, we got 16 noble B souls. And we got all the loot. Didn't really get no good designs. It wasn't nothing great dropped. And you already know who it is. It's the real Afro man here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And until next time, peace out.